Who should I choose? They both look okay. I'll ring cheaper than cheap removals. Put it down, mate. Put it down. G'day, cheaper than cheap removals, the best removalist in town. Steve speaking. Stop scratching, Dave. Hi, Steve. My name's Cheryl. I just wanted to inquire about your services for moving. Yeah, no worries, Dars. As I said before, we're the best removalist in town and the cheapest as well. And what about insurance, Steve? Cheryl Dars, if anything happens to your goods, I'll take care of it myself. It's my personal guarantee. Oh, OK then, Steve, if you say so. I'll book that in then, please. I'm meant to be here at 9am. No phone call. Have I booked the right removalist? You're two hours late. Yeah, we had a big night out last night, Cheryl Dolls. I could barely get me offside of Dave out of bed. But as they say, better late than never. Yeah, better late than never, Cheryl. Let's crack on anyway. I've got to make a chick tonight. Sauce, mate. She'll be all right. Yeah, mate. That, she'll be all right. Just, just smear it on there, buddy. All good, mate. It's all nice. good. Yeah, you can barely notice it. Good job. Well, he did give his personal guarantee. definitely booked the wrong removalist. This is a disaster. They're damaging so many things and taking so long. My mother's prize vase!
Oh well, Cheryl Dowles, another successful move completed. I've had a beer to celebrate. No, thank you. How much do I owe you? Uh, well, it's coming up to 10 hours, plus we've got the flag fall. I'll call out for you that. Uh, our lunch break, tolls. Barbecue sauce. The barbecue sauce, that's right. Uh, let's just call it an even $1,000, uh, Cheryl Dowles. And uh, did I mention we only take cash? No, you did not. And what about all the damages? You had a personal guarantee. Well, what damages? We touched up the, the TV unit pretty nicely. You can barely notice it now. And the vase, I mean, th these things happen. They're out of our control sometimes. You know, as people say, it happens. That's great. Just great. Here's your money. Take it. Thanks for nothing. And you'll be seeing me in the Office of Fair Trading. Today we have in the studio Natalie from Australian Furniture Removers Association. Hello Natalie. Hi Matt and thanks for having me today. Pleasure. So Natalie, what exactly is AFRA? Um, AFRA is the Australian Furniture Removers Association and we have members Australia wide. We look after things like training, insurance and ensure that our members adhere to strict guidelines to be part of our association. So, in Australia, are all removalists AFRA members? No, that's not right. Um, Non-AFRA members aren't governed um, and cannot offer full insurance to their um, customers, whereas AFRA members are governed and have to adhere to the strict guidelines and can offer full insurance to its clients. So on a day-to-day basis, when we're talking about plumbing services or electrical you know, work done at our house, we usually look for the certified tradespeople. Why it would be different when it comes to removalists? Sometimes people choose a non-AFRA member because of the price and that really compromises the quality of the work that they'll be receiving. Just like if you book a plumber who is cheaper, the quality of work may not be as good. And obviously when it comes to removals, it's much, much harder to actually correct the work, isn't it? If already a vase or something is broken, well, it's broken. Exactly. So you need to make sure that, you know, paying that little bit extra, you get that extra care, your items are looked after, because like you said, once you've moved and your items are damaged, you can't go back and fix that. Well, at least there is an organisation like you that we can complain to if they're using the AFRA member, I guess. Yes, that's right. That's what we're here for. Brilliant. Well, we've just saw that little video that we had about those, um, let's say, non-member removalists um, performing actually a move. Um, why don't we have a look right now at one that actually is done by one of you members um, and we will see um, how that one goes. Oh, that would be great. great. should I choose? They both look okay. I'll ring two men in a truck removals. Thank you for calling two men in a truck. You're speaking with Catherine. How can I help you today? Hi Catherine, my name is Cheryl and I wanted to inquire about your moving services. Thank you Cheryl, we'll see you at 9am sharp on the 27th and I'll email you a booking confirmation with our insurance documents attached so you can ensure your mother's bars and dining table is requested. Thank you Catherine, you've been most helpful. Should be here soon. Hi, I'm Chris. This is Ben. We'll be your removals today. Hi, guys. Thanks for being so punctual. My yeah, pleasure.
I definitely rang the right removalist. This is fantastic. They are so careful with my things and so efficient. Thanks for a job well done guys, I'd definitely be recommending you to all my friends. Here's your money, a little bit extra for spending. Thank you, and here's your receipt. Thanks guys. Good luck in your place. Thank you, Bye. see you guys. Bye. Bye. So, here we have it. It's a bit different, isn't it? It certainly is, and the two films certainly showcase how different the moves can be. I guess there's no, no difficulty in finding which one is an Afro member and which one was not an Afro member. Certainly the second move looked to be the Afro member to me. <laughs> it was. Starting with, with the, the booking process, you know, and turning up on time, this is a big thing. Absolutely, and some of the complaints that we get through our office tend to be that the removalist was late. So when you're moving, it's a stressful situation anyway. Being on time is quite important to the customer. The wrapping of the stairway, it's, it's you know something that I haven't seen myself before and, and it was great to see that actually just little things like that can save our furniture. Small things like that, which really showcases the difference between a member and a non-member. Afro members are trained to protect the furniture at all costs. So that includes having the forethought of actually protecting the stairwell so it doesn't scratch the furniture as they move it through the house and on the outside as well. We see two different approaches to exactly the same job, yet the differences are, are on the one hand small but on the other the outcome is, is very different, especially when we look at the broken vase for example, which was handled in a shirt of one of them and properly with a big blanket covered in when it comes to the Afro member. Um, they're trained in the correct ways and methods of wrapping to protect these valuable items which obviously mean a lot to some of the clients as well. Of course it's, it's very hard to, I mean it's easy to replace the vase but the emotional aspect of it it's irreplaceable so. That's right so there is no accountability for a non-Afro member. How ready to check if the removalist is registered with Afra or it isn't? Okay, so we have a, a website that um, clients can go to. Um, on the website, they can put in their postcode or address and find out who is the closest member to their area. And that is the best way to check if uh, a, a removalist is a member of our association. Excellent, that's really good. Well, it was a pleasure to have you here and have this chat. It was very informative. I really enjoy that and thank you very much. Oh, thanks for having me, Matt. It was great to be here.